Um, what's going on, guys? I'm Shannon Josh, and I'll be bringing you a. It's a it's a pretty new league. It's a it's a league that I want to do for fun because this league is actually a 3ds league, and everybody that chose to join it kind of wanted to just have fun. So it's not too serious of a league, but of course I'm gonna to try to win every single game. And yeah, I like the team that I drafted. It's pretty fun. We draft we each had a certain amount of points, and we didn't have to draft all 12 Pokemon. We can draft. I believe eight at the minimum. I did end up drafting twelve Pokemon, but my team is definitely kind of weird. At least my final picks. But yeah, and of course, this is my team that I'll be bringing for Week One versus uh, SSA. But as you can see, my team is the one in red, and my team consists of Mega Pinsir, Hippodon, Jirachi, Umbreon, Gramble, Amoongus, Don Fan, Kirum, Rotom Fan, Poliwrath, Heatmore, and Kat Katsune. Katsune, I felt like could be pretty fun for like future purposes. So you never know. I might bring it once. And then my opponent's team, he didn't draft a really big team, but of course it's still a threat. His team consists of Weavo, Mega Manetric, Skarmory, Politoed, Roseraid, Raichu, Ferrothorn, Golduck, and Toxicroak. You can see it says SSA. You might not be able to see his full team because of the colors, but you can kind of see it. But yeah, his team is pretty um, scary with the Intimidate threat of Mega Manetric. Not to mention it, it's pretty fast. Um, Volt Switch, he has a Weavile, he has a Rain Team with Polytoed, Golduck, and uh, and Toxicroak, Toxicroak, there you go. He also has the Ferrothorn, which is definitely pretty scary, because I don't have too much to do with Ferrothorn. Actually, no, I know. Well, he doesn't have a Ferrothorn. This was, um, he changed his team after we battled up. Yeah, I'm recording this way afterwards. He had a Victini before, and Victini, I didn't have a threat, I didn't have anything to switch in for Victini, which is, um, definitely pretty scary. Like, my, my check to Victini was, like, Polyref. And Ombreon, and those aren't the best switches in the world to V create, especially if the rain isn't up. So yeah, that was definitely kind of scary. But I felt like my team of six right here is was able to deal with his team reasonably well. Oh, man, I'm hoping my mic is okay. I'm moving my mic around. And I'm pretty sure I'm making weird noises with it. So let's hope it's okay. My first Pokemon I'm bringing this week is my Swagpool, my Poliwrath. Poliwrath bringing being physically defensive for his Weavile. And I also have enough special defense investment to take a Thunder from a specially offensive Victini reasonably well. And basically the thing is here to stop um, his poly his poly toad because unless he has toxic he, he toxic he can't really touch me. And it also stops his um his gold duck really well. But yeah, this is basically here to stop his main physical um, offensive presence of Weavile, because otherwise I don't really have the best switches to Weavile. I guess Armbrion deals with it, but I wanted Armbrion to deal with other Pokemon. So as you'll see, I didn't really build it to take too many hits from Weavile. So, yeah, that was my logic. I'm bringing my Polyrath. It's Water Absorbs. So I can take Skulls and potentially a Hydro Pop from the Golduck. And, yeah, that was pre that's pretty much it. So, yeah, my next Pokemon. And, but, yeah, the spread, max defense, I can take knockoffs, eyes go crash, low kick, whatever he chooses to click against me, even poison jab if he really wants to. And then I didn't need max HP to be bulky, so I just put the rest in special defense so I can take thunders reasonably well. So, yeah, my next Pokemon is my Kirum. I'm bringing the leftovers this, this, week's, this week because I don't get to a KO by a Skarmory. Um, well, a defensive, a defensive normal Skarmory. And if he's the normal defensive set, I took a KO with Ice Beam. And with Roost, I'd be able to beat it 1v1, especially with pressure. He wouldn't be able to outstall my Roost. So that's something to note. And I am bringing the Draco Meteor for Stab, Earth Power for pretty good power. Ice Beam is there to hit for Stab, and of course the Rose Raid, because otherwise I can't really hit Rose Raid, especially once I go to minus 2 after a Draco Meteor. So I felt like bringing the spread would be the best. I have enough speed to outspeed a, a, a normal, a adamant Victini. If he is not adamant, then I out. I mean, if he's not, if he's jolly, then I don't outspeed. If he's adamant, I do. So that's kind of the spread right here. I have 30, and as you can see, all the Pokemon Pokemon are level 50 because I had a build for level 50. Make sure my speed tiers were correct. <laughs> make sure I didn't speed tie potentially because I did almost make that mistake when I was building. But yeah, that's basically Kiram. He's here to wall break, even though he doesn't have the life orb. You can still hit reasonably well with that base 130 special attack. I'm max invested. I'm not modest, but Timid's still pretty good. So, yeah, Earth Power for potentially Victini if I can get the hit off, because I could live one hit 
if he's not banded. Banded V-Crate would probably kill me, but I could probably live one hit I'm without rocks damage, of course. Then I do but plan on avoiding rocks damage with my Dawn Fan. So, yeah, that's basically the way it goes. Roost. Um, so, three attacks, Roost, basically, is my spread this week. Next Pokemon is my Cleric, my Umbreon, because as you can see through his team, he doesn't have a lot to kill my Umbreon. Umbreon just kind of eats hits, goes for Wish, protects. He could potentially Wish pass into my Polyraph to keep it healthy. He could potentially pass into my Kirim if he's getting low. I'll take the Wish, and I'll go back to 75% if there is rocks up on the field. I can also potentially pass into my Rap, my Donphan, because as you'll see, my Donphan doesn't have any recovery with leftovers. So, you'll be able to see it's it's set. But yeah, it's I'm basically the, the standard Special Defensive Umbreon, because that's, that's pretty much all I need to bring, because I don't get too killed by... A Golduck in the rain, unless he is Specs, and if he is Specs, I can I can pivot around with my Amoongus then, and then I'd be good to go. So it's basically Umbreon. Like there's there's nothing elaborate about this. Uh, Synchronize just in case he does Toxic me, I can Toxic it back. And by Toxic, I mean the um, Poly Toad because I'm guessing that's what he would want to do. And then I can just heal Bell it off, and I'd be good to go. So yeah, that's Umbreon this week, just standard. Anyways, my next Pokemon is my AV Dawn fan. AV Dawn fan because it's a pretty good switch in to Mega Manetric. And if he goes for like Volt Switch, I'm I'm immune to it. I can uh, Rapid Spin. I'm bringing Rapid Spin support for my Kyurem because it's the only Pokemon my team actually hits a professor by it. And I'm actually bringing I'm three I'm bringing three Pokemon that are at their they resist Stuff Rock. So besides Kyurem, I take Stuff Rock pretty well. But yeah, I'm bringing the Ice Shard for the Rose Raid, because if he is if he is uh, defensive Rose Raid with max HP, then I do kill when he's at 50%. If he's offensive, I do a lot more. If he is defensive, not specially defensive, then I could be in a, a pickle. But I have a pretty good switch in with uh, Umbreon and potentially Jirachi if he's not Technician HP Fire. But that's the only concern and I guess a movies is a pretty good switch and even even if he is technician HP fire HP ice but I do expect HP fire for the Jirachi so yeah that's my Dawn fan spread I have enough just max attack I have enough speed to outspeed a non-invested poly toad because if I do need to stay in and click earthquake versus the poly toad and if it really does go down to it I'm pretty sure I lose but if I have to then I can stay in hope He's not invested in speed, and then I just kill him with Earthquake, because Earthquake will do a lot to his Saturn Politoed. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Also, I have a Polyraph, and he has a Politoed, so we're going to see which is the better better uh, evolution, Polyraph or Politoed. Polyraph's pretty cool, but, you know, we'll see. Anyways, my next Pokemon is my Amoongus. Ignore the Black Glasses, I, I promise you, in the match, it was Black Sludge. It must have been a mistake that I transferred it. Yeah, Black Sludge, and I, I promise you, it was Regenerator. Jesus Christ. Okay, yeah, I'm bringing Giga Drain, Sludge Bomb, HP Fire, 40, Rose Raid, and 4. Um, with, this, and with this amount of special attack investment, I do a good amount of damage to the Rose Raid. Otherwise, HP Fire did not do a lot. So, that was my logic for bringing that much special attack, especially since I don't need max special defense to eat hits from his Pokemon. So, yeah, I'm bringing max HP, 192 special defense with a calm nature, with 64 special attacks, so I can just hit just a little harder, because that much special attack could really come with clutch for Pokemon with substitutes, such as Sub Rose Raid, because Sub Rose Raid could potentially be a problem, because I don't have a switch in to a Sub Rose Raid, if, because you could just go for, like, Sludge Bomb, HP Fire on my Jirachi, and Leaf Storm on my Umbreon, and then I click Foul Play, you go for Sub again, and then you can have Leech Seed for my Umbreon, even Toxic. Because you wouldn't get affected by synchronize, and that would be a problem. So I just want to be able to break sub with my Amoongus. And then my last Pokemon is Brian. Shout out to Brian. Like the best. He's uh, he's he used uh, Jirachi the best by far. Anyways, ignore um. I promise you guys, I had a I had a I had 156. Actually, no, I didn't have any special attack investment. I forget I forget I said that I had I was max defense. Well, not max defense. It was my spread. I didn't have any special back investment, but I'm bringing my uh, crap. Hopefully that doesn't affect the audio. But uh, yeah. Anyways, going back to this, my Jirachi is Thunder Wave, Stealth Rock, Psy Shock, and Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt for the Skarmory, so I can hit it reasonably hard. 
Flash Rock for the Rosary because it hits it really hard too. It kills any form of Rosary. And with this spread, I can eat a good amount of hits from his Pokemon. And I have the Oak Berries. I can eat one Fire Move, whether it be Blue Flare or V Create from the Victini. And I can Thunder Wave it, and then I'd be good to go. The only reason this would be a bad situation is if you click Sub versus my Jirachi. And in that case, I would be in huge trouble. Because I don't have a switch in at that point. But if he is Sub, I know he's limited in his move set, So I can like find out which Pokemon he can't touch. So that's kind of what I would do. So yeah, that's the full team of six. I will probably post the, the battle later on today because I was supposed to post. I was supposed to post. Yeah, I was supposed to post this like last week. So I'm a little bit behind when it comes to that. But I wasn't really interested in posting this battle. But I guess I'll. I guess I'll post it now. It doesn't really matter because I just want to do it for fun. I want. I want to show off 3ds battles on my channel. Because that would be pretty fun. And, uh, yeah, that's basically the, the team. Um, I'm bringing a lot of bulk this week. Like, a lot of bulk. My only offensive presence... My only offensive Pokemon are really the Dawnfan and the Kiram. So, yeah, we'll see what happens with uh, with that. I guess Jirachi, because, you know, base 400 special attack is just good in general. Even if you're not invested. So, yeah. But I, I really only have two offensive Pokemon on my team. But, yeah, that's the team. And I'll see you in the battle, so yeah, au revoir and peace.